door to your list. Ice Cream Sandwich did a video on this. You should really check out his video and channel. He's a really funny and awesome YouTuber. Uh, link is in the description. A bunch of other YouTubers did a video on this. Door to your list, no explanation. Let's do this. First up, the common door. Uh, it's really nice, very easy, and simple to use. There could be lots of things behind this door, like a package, a family member, a friend, your third grade bully. Hey man, remember the time when I- It's also not very nice to left-handed people. Ah, frick! So, it's gonna go on B tier. Because I'm left-handed. Next up is a revolving door. It is a very fancy door that only mature people use. But when I use it, it I just spin. <laughs> but seriously though, when is a revolving door not fun? It's like a mini amusement park ride. As a kid, I would spin around on these all the time. But I also have the image that something like this can happen with a revolving door. We Ah! Oh, ah, oh, heck yeah, that was so fun. Oh! It's very fun, loved them as a kid, A+. Okay, next up is sliding doors. Mm, I don't like them. The idea of a door on wheels that slides sideways might sound like a good idea on paper, but in reality it's just, no, it doesn't really work well. They're just really annoying, like you slide it too hard and it bounces off the wall and it doesn't stay with the wall. If you slide it too gently, it still doesn't stay with the wall, because it was a gentle slide. It also takes more power to open and close a sliding door than any other regular door, especially when the wheels are rusty. I don't really like it. D. Next up are screen doors. They're like sliding doors, but it's actually easier to open and close it. I remember as a kid, I would run into them a lot. Like every single time I want to go outside through my back door, which is where my screen door is, I would always run up to it because... Well, I actually don't know why, <laughs> and it makes sense why. From a far distance, it's really hard to tell if a screen door is open or closed. Ah! They're not as much of a nuisance as sliding doors, but I do remember getting hurt from them a lot. C. Next up are barn doors. Never owned one, nor have any of my family members or friends ever owned one, but I'm going to be honest, I like the design. I can see why some people don't like this door since it's technically just the worst sliding door and it's not actually connected with the wall, rather a few inches away from it, which means anybody or anything can like peek through the side of it. But honestly, I like the design. And that's the only thing I like about this door. This is the first door on the tier list that I've never owned or used. And I know this will probably be my most controversial rank for this tier list, but I'm gonna put the barn door above the sliding door on C. Okay. This next one is really cool. Secret doors. It's basically a door that doesn't look like a door, but it is a door and can lead to a secret place in a house. Again, I never owned it or ever used it, but I can tell this would be the perfect thing for sleepovers where you can like sleep there, play video games, y you know, just do a bunch of fun stuff with your buddies. It's like a secret base for the boys. Just from the looks and from how cool it is, I'm gonna put it on A. Next up is the doggy door. I don't have a dog so I don't own it, but my friend has a dog and has a doggy door and it's just so cute every time his dog goes through the doggy door and it's- Ah! I love it. A+. plus. Next up are attic doors, and these are terrifying. I'm pretty sure my grandma has an attic door and I remember going through it and it- I did not like it, man. I just remember seeing through the door was just completely pitch black because the attic was so dark. You never know if there could be anything or anyone in there. Also, doors that you have to enter vertically, I don't like them. I don't like them. They're supposed to be horizontal, not vertical. Possibly the worst door on this tier list, D. I'm not going to put it on F because it's not god awful. It's usable, but it's just terrifying. And last but not least, who could forget what the hell? Apparently, it's called an evolution door, and yeah, I can tell, this looks very futuristic. But the problem is, I have no idea how to even open or close it. I feel like if I came in contact with the evolution door, this would definitely happen. Oh no guys, there's a clown with a knife coming towards us! Here, let's go into this building through this door that I can clearly open, but you're gonna have to open it because it's the point of this mini skit. Oh, okay. Y'all got any tape? So, I'm gonna put it on, the only reason why this tier exists.
well this is my tier list uh link is in the description if you want to make your own door tier list and let me know in the comments below if you agree with my tier list or disagree thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time